Hi, my name's Bob Grunier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I have great news for everyone. The book Steps to the Discovery of Electronuclear Collapse, Collected Papers 1989 to 1999 by Matsumoto Takaki from the Department of Nuclear Engineering, Hokkaido University, is now available in PDF complete. And this was done on the weekend, uh, finally, and so you can get the whole copy if you go to uh, remoteview.icu and uh, you go to the Matsumoto Collected Papers 1989 to 1999 and it is down here. And you can see the link here and it is 322 megabytes roughly for all pages. And what I intend to do is uh, th with this one you can do searches on it. So if I go in here and I look for ball uh, like so, uh, ball lightning, there we go. We can look for ball lightning, here we go. And so we've got ball lightning and you can find all kinds of uh, references in there. So it's been painstakingly uh, recreated and uh, the text has been OCR'd so that you can do these searches in here. But what I want to do is to um, take a, a bit of time to make a really nice attractive colour front cover and a lovely uh, back cover, probably looking at the preface and upload this to Amazon Print On Demand so that those people that don't want to do the 290 pages or so in their printer and uh, use their printer cartridge and they want a nice bound book with a, a glossy uh, and attractive cover, they can choose to do that. Uh, it will be essentially marginally uh, above cost uh, so th th this will be able to be got out to as many people as possible. And there's some lovely things in here which I'm going to spend some time talking about now that you all have access to it. One thing I will mention before I go on to what else we're doing with the book uh, is on page, uh, let's have a look again, it's on page 255 or 254 uh, in the numbered pages and it is this. It's, I, I, I'm going to do a whole video on this but uh, just to give you some little inspiration here. So you can see that this is a reasonably flat side here uh, and we noted that in our sort of uh, ball lightning type structures that appear to be produced in the Vega experiments of Henk that we looked at under the SEM. They seem to be s sort of faceted, the segments uh, of these balls. And this is in, I believe, his lead wire experiments, I think from 1996. But anyway, in the centre of this facet, you have this an ejection and you can see the bits kind of spraying out. And then you have this a toroidal thing coming round and it comes in to this this side over here and the way I look at this that this is a north pole and this is the nucleus of the north pole and it's throwing material out and this would be carbon and this would be perform, uh, uh, producing a carbon filament across here and it's coming into the south pole so this is the breaker and this is the maker and uh, the first time I saw something like this was way back I think in 2016 in the first analysis of the Nova reactor uh, outputs and when this is occurring this uh, uh, magnetic flux loop in my view this uh, you wouldn't actually see this material it would be uh, what Matsumoto calls it this kind of wormhole between these two locations and you can imagine that this ball is made up of a mesh of alternate north and south uh, poles coming together as the kind of crystal meshes saw seen by Bogdanovich at the Moscow Nuclear Physics Institute. So maybe you'll kind of get uh, an idea and I'll, I'll go into this in much more detail in another presentation. Okay, so it's it's all there. Uh, the, there was a bit of a hiccup at the last bit. These last several pages uh, had strike throughs on them and it was just unimaginably tedious to do, but uh, I cleaned them all up. But that isn't all we are doing with this. No, I have been working with the wonderful Philip Power in New Zealand who helped and uh, did all the programming essentially uh, 
for the MFMP reaction calculator based on Alexander Parkmov's data. Uh, but we have been working in Overleaf. This was uh, um, proposed by Philip Power. And uh, we've been producing the documents in this online collaborative latex system. And so not only have we got the document as a one-to-one -one copy here, faithful, we have the document completely remastered here. So uh, this will come later. But this is a proper, proper, proper text and it's reformatable. And so we might produce a book that's a, a more handy size rather than the A4 original. And uh, so you can see all of the... Uh, he, he's, he, he has one view of these. I think these may be the kind of figure of eights or the uh, monopole structures spread over a distance as we saw on the Amasa vibrator plates. But anyway, there it is. Um, and so you see these beautiful structures. And I'm going to talk about this paper in some detail at some point because of this very, very important diagram about how it uh, occurs on a surface effect. And I think that's just... Um, he really nailed a lot of the processes that are going on here. So anyway, there are many papers in here. And what we've been doing is taking the OCR text and proofreading it and improving the graphics. And if we can work with Matsumoto uh, at all to get uh, rescans of original uh, SEMs or uh, original uh, micrographs or whatever and put those in, uh, and, uh, you know, it's going to be a really classy document. The other thing that we want to do is, from the introduction to this uh, book, and I've spoken about this in the past, the documents that are sort of, I think it's the ones that are hashed, uh, are included, and the ones that are not hashed are not included, or it's the other way around, but anyway, you, you get my drift. Uh, some of them are fairly repetitive, but I actually approached Takaki Matsumoto and I asked him to supply some of the ones that were in Japanese uh, or that weren't included in here that I thought were important. And we are going to get those translated and remastered and they will become part of uh, this totally remastered version of the book which is uh, being put together in uh, latex okay so uh, right now you can go and get yourself a copy of this the the full one-to-one -one searchable PDF again over at remoteview.icu and I will do possibly a, a separate blog uh, on that so you can go directly to it and I will at some point put a description in this video to give you quick access to that as well so thank you very much for your time enjoy the book I will see you in the next video.